Hello, my awesome students. This is Rachna Gulati from Padho Punjab, Padho Punjab team Jalandhar. Welcome once again to another exciting session. Let's have one more plunge into the stream of knowledge, which is in the form of the poem where the mind is without fear. Let us again start the session with a brainstorming activity and see whether you guess the name of this great poet with the help of hints or without the help of any hint. So are you ready? Okay, here we start. I will speak the hints one by one and you all try to guess who this great poet is. He was born in 1861 in an aristocratic family of Bengal. In 1912, he sailed to England. He was an actor, an educationist, and a social reformer. Now, last him, he won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1913. Think? Yes, you are absolutely correct. He is none other than Rabindranath Tagore. He is often known as Gurudev too. So dear students, we now know who this great poet is. Now let us do recapitulation about the poem with the help of some multiple choice questions. Pyaare vidyarthyo, hun asi dohrai karange is kavita de baare tusi ki jaan de ho kuch multiple choice questions thi. The first question is the poem Where the Mind is Without Fear is Kavita Where the Mind is Without Fear Ki hai Option A An Order Option B A Prayer Option C A Letter Japir Option D A Song Yes The right answer is A Prayer Now let us move to the second question The poet wants his countrymen should be free from Kavi apne desh vasiyanu kis to azadi dilana chanda hai option A evils option B dignity option C knowledge ja fir option D good practices and the correct answer is evils here comes third question what is meant by mind is without fear and Head is held high. Kavida, mind is without fear and head is held high. To ki paal hai? Option A, to be proud of one's high position. Option B, to be self-respecting. Option C, to stand carefree. Option D, all the above. And the absolutely correct answer is to be self-respecting. We will now move to the question number four. This question is in form of a blank. The poet prays to God for his countrymen to come out of the dash of ignorance, social evils based on casteism and gender. Kavi Paramatma agge pratna karda hai ki us de desh vasi ignorance paav agyanta Social evils, power, samajik buraiya, joki, casteism, jatiwa, and gender link the adharit hoon is the dash to bahar. Option A, goodness. Option B, darkness. Option C, fullness. Jafir. Option D, brightness. So, what do you think? Absolutely right. The right answer is darkness. Now, dear students, we will do recapitulation of vocabulary. Pichale session which asi kuch nave ate okhe shabda de meaning, pronunciation ate uses pare pade asi. Now, let us see now how many words you can tell the meaning with the help of the picture on the screen. Dear students, you can see a picture. And in front of that picture, there are four options. Having the correct word, which could be matched 
with this picture. So option A, fragments. Option B, narrow. Option C, depth. Option D, perfection. So what do you think? Which word matches this picture? And the correct answer is option A, fragments. Pyaare vidyaathyo hoon tusi dousri tasveer wal dekho ate ditte hoi char options vichyo sahi shabdhano is the naal milan karo. Option A, depth. Option B, rearing. Option C, knowledge. Jafir, option D, perfection. You are very right. The correct answer is option B, dreary. So here we move on to the next picture. Isn't it interesting? Okay. Is Ditti Hui Tasveer which? Ik arrow, teer da nishan to si dek pa rayo. Usnu tiyan which rakhte hoi. Option A, fragments. Option B, narrow. Option C, tireless. Ate. Option D, perfection. Which one? Sahi word. Chuno. Bilkul sahi jawa. Right answer is option B, narrow. Now here comes the next picture. Yes. Options are A, depth. B, strive. C. Stretch. R. B. Fragments. Think about the right answer. Okay. Here the right answer is option C. Stretch. Now you can see one more picture on your screen. And the options are option A. Strive. Option B, narrow. Option C, tireless. And the last option is C, head. The key soch reo bacho. Keda shabd is the Sri Dinal Milan Kita Jave. Bilkul Sahi Jawab. It is option D, head. This picture is again comprises of some animals is tasveer vich kuch janwar tonu dikhai de rahe han is nu mind vich rakhde hoye correct option di chon karo option a strive option b tireless option c domestic ja fir option d broken up yes absolutely right the answer is Option C, domestic. Now, dear students, we will do a stanza-wise explanation of the poem, where the mind is without fear. So here comes the first stanza. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls. The opening lines are where the mind is without fear and the head is held up. Pyare Vidyarthi, is a stanza di shiruati panktiya. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high. To kavi the key path in a punctia which kavi parmatma age pratna karda hai ki uste desh nu sari burayya to azadi mil jave. The people of the country should have no fear in their minds. Uste desh wasya de de maag de which we kisi prakar da koi vi tar japai na hove. The people should have sense of dignity so that they will be able to hold their heads high with honor. Kavi 
ਇਹ ਵੀ ਇੱਛਾ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਦੇਸ਼ ਵਾਸੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਤਮ ਸਨਮਾਨ ਦੀ ਭਾਵਨਾ ਮਿਲੇ ਅਤੇ ਉਹ ਆਪਣੇ ਸਿਰ ਨੂੰ ਉੱਚਾ ਚੁੱਕ ਸਕਣ when knowledge is free in this line the boy dreams of a nation where knowledge would be free is pankti to kavi da e bhav hai ki sikhya te kisi vi jaat ja utche class de lokan da haq na reh jave sikhya nu prapat karan da adhikar har ik nu hove paave ਉਹ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਜਾਤ ਜਾਂ ਧਰਮ ਦਾ ਹੋਵੇ where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls in these closing lines of the first stanza the poet prays for the unity the entire world kavi apne desh to uchcha chuk ke apni soch pure vishv tak ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਵੀ ਪ੍ਰਾਰਥਨਾ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਏਕਤਾ ਦੀ ਭਾਵਨਾ ਨਾ ਕੇਵਲ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਦੇਸ਼ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਲਕਿ ਪੂਰੇ ਵਿਸ਼ਵ ਵਿੱਚ ਫੈਲ ਜਾਵੇ देयर ਸ਼ੁੱਡ ਬੀ ਨੋ ਡਿਵੀਜ਼ਨ ਅਮੰਗ ਪੀਪਲ ਬੇਸਡ ਔਨ देयर ਕਾਸਟ ਕ੍ਰੀਡ ਕਲਰ ਔਰ ਰਿਲੀਜੀਅਨ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਜਾਤ ਪਾਤ ਰੰਗ ਜਾਂ ਧਰਮ ਦੇ ਆਧਾਰ ਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਪਟਵਾਰਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿਚਕਾਰ ਨਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਨਾ ਡੇਅਰ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਆਫਟਰ ਨੋਇੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦ ਡਿਟੇਲਡ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦ ਫਰਸਟ ਸਟੈਂਡਰ ਲੈਟਸ ਡੂ ਸਮ ਕੰਪ੍ਰੀਹੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਸੀ ਵੈਦਰ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਕਮ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਦ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਦੈਟ ਸਟੈਂਡਰ ਆਰ ਨਾਟ ਸੋ ਹੇਅਰ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਫਰਸਟ ਸਟੈਂਡਰ where the mind is without fear and the head is held high where knowledge is free where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls hon ditte hue prashna nu assi ek ek karke dekhange aur is de sahi jawab nu vi vicharange pehla prashn who is the poet of the poem and now i can hope that everybody would be with the right answer and the right answer is rabindranath tagore is the poet of the poem second question what does the poet want to be free in his country pa kavi apne desh vich kis cheez nu free krona chanta hai and the right answer is the poet wants education to be free in his country students can also write the poet wants knowledge to be free in his country here comes the third question what does the poet mean by narrow domestic walls so narrow domestic walls to kavita ki paav hai yes think about the answer okay let's see what is the correct answer narrow domestic walls are the division among people based on caste creed and religion so here we are up with the first stanza now we will move to second stanza pyare vidyarthiyo dusra stanza is prakar hai where words come out from the depth of truth where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habits bahut hi sundar stanza and the first line where words come out from the depth of truth in a pankti de vich kavi 
ਇੱਛਾ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਦੇਸ਼ ਵਾਸੀ ਟਰੂਥਫੁਲ ਹੋਣ ਆਪਣੇ ਵਿਚਾਰਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਔਰ ਆਪਣੇ ਕਰਮਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਯਾਨੀ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਉਹ ਸੋਚਣ ਅਤੇ ਜੋ ਉਹ ਕਰਨ ਉਹ ਸੱਚ ਦੀ ਰਾਹ ਤੇ ਹੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਐਂਡ ਵਰਡਸ ਸ਼ੁੱਡ ਕਮ ਆਊਟ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਡੈਪਥ ਆਫ देयर ਹਾਰਟ ਔਰ ਜੋ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਬੋਲਣ ਉਹ ਆਪਣੀ ਦਿਲ ਦੀ ਗਹਿਰਾਈਆਂ ਤੋਂ ਬੋਲਣ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਦੁਰਾਵ ਛੁਪਾ ਜਾਂ ਫਿਰ ਲੁਕਾਵ ਨਾ ਹੋਵੇ we are tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection in these lines the poet wants everyone to work hard to reach their goals pyare vidyarthiyo assi sare hi hard work karan to kai baar bachte hain lekin kavi chahunda hai ki us se desh ka har ek wasi ਆਪਣੇ ਗੋਲਸ ਆਪਣੇ ਮਕਸਦ ਨੂੰ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਕੜੀ ਮਿਹਨਤ ਕਰੇ ਦੇ ਸ਼ੁੱਡ ਸਟ੍ਰਾਈਵ ਟੂਵਰਡਸ ਪਰਫੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਬਾਈ ਗਿਵਿੰਗ ਅਪ ਲੇਜ਼ੀਨੈਸ ਔਰ ਉਹ ਇੱਕ ਕੜੀ ਮਿਹਨਤ ਉਦੋਂ ਤੱਕ ਕਰਦੇ ਰਹਿਣ ਜਦ ਤੱਕ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਪਰਫੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਤੱਕ ਨਾ ਪਹੁੰਚ ਜਾਣ ਆਪਣੀ ਉੱਚਤਮ ਸਥਿਤੀ ਤੱਕ ਨਾ ਪਹੁੰਚ ਜਾਣ ਔਰ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਲੇਜ਼ੀਨੈਸ ਆਲਸ ਨੂੰ ਤਿਆਗਣਾ ਪਏਗਾ where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead words in these lines the poet compares reason to a clear stream and dead habits to a dreary desert kavi ina pankhtiya de vich reason jani ki ਸੋਚ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਤਰਕ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਸਾਫ ਸੁਥਰੀ ਨਦੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕੰਪੇਅਰ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਦ ਕਿ ਡੈਡ ਹੈਬਿਟਸ ਅੰਧ ਵਿਸ਼ਵਾਸਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਬੁਰੀਆਂ ਆਦਤਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਰੁੱਖੇ ਸੁੱਕੇ ਮਰੂਥਲ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕੰਪੇਅਰ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਹੀ ਵਾਂਟਸ ਥੈਟ ਪੀਪਲਸ ਥਾਟ ਸ਼ੁੱਡ ਬੀ ਮਨੀਟਰਡ ਬਾਈ ਦਾ ਰੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਥਿੰਕਿੰਗ ਨਾਟ ਬਾਈ ਸੁਪਰਸਟੀਸ਼ਨਸ and use this customs jis samay eh kavita likhi gayi us vele bharatiya samaj andh vishwasan de hanere vich kiriya hoya si isi cheez nu dhyan vich rakhde hue rabindranath tagore ji eh ichha karde han ki us unha de desh vasi de jehde vichar han ਉਹ ਇੱਕ ਰੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਥਿੰਕਿੰਗ ਸੋਚ ਸਮਝ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਪ੍ਰਭਾਵਿਤ ਹੋਣ ਨਾ ਕਿ ਕਿਸੇ ਅੰਧ ਵਿਸ਼ਵਾਸ ਜਾਂ ਬੇਕਾਰ ਦੇ ਰੀਤੀ ਰਿਵਾਜ਼ਾਂ ਨਾਉ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਡੂ ਦਾ ਕੰਪ੍ਰੀਹੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਸੈਂਸਰ ਟੂ ਵੇਅਰ ਵਰਡਸ ਕਮ ਆਊਟ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਡੈਪ ਟਰੂ ਵੇਅਰ ਟਾਇਰਲੈਸ ਸਟ੍ਰਾਈਵਿੰਗ ਸਟ੍ਰੈਚਸ ਇਟਸ ਆਰਮਸ ਟੂਵਰਡਸ ਪਰਫੈਕਸ਼ਨ where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of that habit question 1 from where does the poet want the words to come out kavi kitho chanda hai ki shabd niklan the poet wants the words to come out from the depth of truth second question what does the poet compare reason with tarka nu kavi kis de naal compare karta hai the poet compares the reason with a clear stream question number 3 what does the poet compare dead habit with and the answer is so the poet compares the dead habit with a dreary desert where the mind is led forward by the into ever widening thought and action into that heaven of freedom my father let my country away where the mind is led forward by the ethe vidhavag hai parmatma 
in these lines the poet prays to god to lead his countrymen so that they can be progressive and broad minded to do something extraordinary kavi parmatma age e prarthna karda hai ki parmatma hi us desh vasiyan nu is tarah da rasta dikhan jo ki tarakki wal unna nu le ke jaye aur unna nu broad minded banaye aur oh kuch hat ke kar sake he wants that their minds always lead forward to ever widening thought and action into that heaven of freedom my father let my country away kavi parmatma nu father keh ke bulanda hai ate unna age e prarthna karda hai कि उन्होंने देशवासी जाग जान और सारी बुराइयों के हनेरे चो बाहर निकले देर लैंड टर्न इन टू और इस प्रकार उन्होंने देश हैवन बन जाए आजादी का स्वर्ग बन जाए वी विल डू द कॉम्प्रीहेंशन ऑफ स्टैंडा थ्री वेयर द माइंड इज लेट फॉरवर्ड बाई थी इन टू एवर वाइडनिंग थॉट and action into that heaven of freedom my father let my country away and the first question is so is the poet of the poem and now i hope everyone would be with the right answer and that is rabindranath tagore is the poet of the poem second question by whom does the poet want the mind to be led kavi ki chahunda hai ki us desh vasiyan nu kon kithe leke jaye the poet wants the mind to be led by god question number 3 what does the poet want kavi chahunda ki hai प्यारे बच्चों इतने अस जवाब लिखा द पोइट वॉन्ट्स हिज कंट्री टू बी हैवन ऑफ फ्रीडम नाउ वी आर अप विद द पोम एंड हेयर स्टार्ट सम पोस्ट रीडिंग एक्टिविटीज ए ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइप क्वेश्चन हैं और इस अगे चार ऑप्शन दिते हुए हैं जिदेचो एक ऑप्शन इसका सही जवाब है the poet prays for a land where dash is without fear brain mind man or body think about the right answer i will read the second question to whom does the poet pray in this poem people king god none of these and the third question is a statement ए एक स्टेटमेंट है जो कि ट्रू हो सकती है या फिर फॉल्स सच भी हो सकती है ते गलत भी हो सकती है एवरीवन शुड हैव राइट टू एजुकेशन तो थिंक अबाउट द आंसर्स एंड द आंसर ऑफ द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज माइंड एंड आंसर टू द सेकंड क्वेश्चन इज गॉड and the third statement is a true one so dear students now we will proceed we are here with the central idea of the poem kavita da kendri bhav sade samne hai par eh adhura hai is nu ditte hue shabda de naal assi pura karange aur meaningful banavange in this poem the poet prays to god that his countrymen should live without dash think about the right option he wants dash to be free for them they should live dash they should give up all dash they should not be dash thus they can dash in real sense ओके यू आर ऑन द राइट ट्रैक बिल्कुल सही सोच रहे हो सारे एंड इन द फर्स्ट ब्लाइंड इट वुड बी 
is for the poet prays to god that his countrymen should live without fear he wants education to be free for them they should live united they should give up all evils they shouldn't be narrow minded thus they can gain freedom in real sense excellent job everyone has done a great job sabhi ne bahut hi vadhiya kita now we will be there with some home assignment for all of you ye sari assignment tusi apne aap karni hai मैच द फॉलोइंग एक्सप्रेशन तुम देख पा रहे हो एक पास एक्सप्रेशन दिते हुए हैं और दूसरे पास बी पार्ट के उसका सही मिलान है माइंड इज विदाउट फियर हेड इज हेल्ड हाई नॉलेज इज फ्री नैरो डोमेस्टिक वॉल्स क्लियर स्ट्रीम ऑफ रीजन तो ऑप्शन ए हैं और इधर बी दे कुछ होर ऑप्शन हैं इनू भी मैं रीड करनी हाँ एंड यू जस्ट ट्राई टू सॉल्व इट सेल्फ रिस्पेक्ट अ फेयरलेस पर्सन नैरो माइंडेडनेस एजुकेशन फॉर ऑल क्लियर थिंकिंग ऑल द बेस्ट स्टूडेंट्स ट्राई टू डू इट करेक्टली देर इज वन मोर होम असाइनमेंट फॉर यू विच इज obviously very interesting frame sentences from the given table so de samne ek table hai aur tusi is di madad de naal kuch sentence apne aap banane hain pehle column de vich tusi dekh pa rahe ho the poet agle vich do words ne praise and bonds then is his countryman to god freedom agle last wale which to be awakened for his countrymen to be hard working to be broad minded to be free from fear from superstitions from casteism from narrow mindedness so in the usage karte hue to see sentences frame for many so thank you very much from my side hope now this poem is a easier one for you and you will score more thank you this is rashna gulati saying goodbye to you all